at these people over here, and they look suspicious. Well, maybe not entirely suspicious. Hey, hey, guys, in case anybody... Oh, my gosh, are you kidding me? You interrupted me in the intro? Okay. I'm sure, pretty sure this is the guy that I wanted to talk to, the guy next to you. Hello, sir. Nick K78 here with more Yakuza 3. In the last one, we were doing a little bit of side quest after figuring out Majima is the oh. key to this. And now, I'm going to figure out what this Barker wants. You got to relax, man. Lucky for you, we got a special today. 5,000 yen for all you could drink. And on top of that, you can pick any babe you want. How about that? Uh, sure. Lead the way. Well, I'm sold. Lead the way. You're going to love it, my man. Right this way. What kind of scam did we get ourselves caught in now? Hey, this doesn't look like much of a club. Uh? Huh? That's because it isn't, Sherlock. You looked like you had cash, so I brought you here for a dance. Just couldn't resist my sales pitch, huh? Well, now you gotta pay up. Ah, yes. The good old, I'm gonna take you to an alleyway and then mug you kind of thing. Is he dancing? He is. Yo, what the heck? This guy is interesting. Here you get at me. He did not like what I was going to try to do to him. Wait, is it Wantabe? Wantanabe? A, uh, poppin' Spider-Man? I think she is. Sorry, the names get me. Wow, I'm really, really sorry. Here's some free advice. Before you go pick up fights, make sure you know who you're up against. Yes, sir, I'll remember that. I promise, please, just take this. It's all I got, really. Wow, you managed to swindle ten other people in an alleyway before you, I came along. That's interesting. All right. And there's another quest on the west side of the Millennium Tower. And then we have something with Mac on Park Boulevard. Oh. That should be it, based on what I'm seeing on the map. Unless something else happens, of course. Is it this? Uh, hey, do you know this, the name of the Minister Tamiya? Do you know the name of Minister Tamiya's secretary? He's so huh? hot. I know. I saw him in the background during one of Tamiya's interviews. I bet he could make it in politics on his own. I know I'd vote for him. I don't care how much Okinawa about Okinawa. I don't care much about Okinawa one way or another, but lately I've been watching the news just to see more of him. Uh... I don't think that was it. Oh, up <laughs> here! Okay, there we go. What's wrong, Grandpa? You lost or something? Maybe we could uh, show you back to, a way back to the nursing home for a small feed, of course? <laughs> Kamurocho ain't no place for a guy to be walking. That's why you guys need guys like us around for protection. No thanks. I should just be fine on my own, actually. Quit harassing this gentleman here. <laughs> What's the matter? Speak up. It's not like we're trying to bug you or nothing. We're real upstanding youth, you see. Hey, what do you think you're doing? <sighs> Damn it, we gotta bounce. And I thought for sure we had that old brood in the bag, too. You okay? <sighs> I am. Thank you for that. They wouldn't just leave me alone. You still look worried. Is there something wrong? Yeah. No, no. I'm just a little pooped out, that's all. It's been quite some time since I was back in this town. In fact, it's been more than 60 years. Back in the post-war days, this place was one big black market. Which reminds me, there's something I'd like to ask you. Would you happen to have heard of the Sapone Street somewhere around here? Sapon Street. Uh. Yeah, I've had got some business with a bar on Sapon Street. It goes by the name of Jinsei. I thought I knew where it was. But damn it, this place hasn't changed in 60 years. I feel like a complete newcomer. Not to mention, I've been walking so much I can barely stand. I hate to take advantage of your kindness, but do you think I, you could find me that Jinsei place on Sapon Street and let me know how to get there? Uh. I need to rest here a little longer. So I'm looking for a Jinsei on Sapone Street. Huh. Okay. Uh, let me look at the map. Oh, here we go. Here's Sapone. So somewhere around here is, uh, 
it. So let me go in this area. Hold on, there's a thing over here. Nice. Are you it? Excuse me, do you know if there's a bar called Jinsei somewhere around here? Oh. Jinsei? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that place. It was right across from us, but it was torn down ages ago. There's another building there now. I see. Well, do you know if it moved somewhere else or if it got closed down for good? Mm. Good question. This was back when all the land speculation stuff was going on. Rumor has it they needed a tiny sum to keep the land sharks at bay, and I ain't talking to mutant fish. Oh, that's right. Now I remember. I heard it got moved over to the Champion District. Yeah, sounds about right. The Champion District it is? Okay. So now I have to go all the way to the east and go see if there's anyone out there. Wow, that guy really wanted to sell me tissues. He's following me all the way into a fight. Alright, I'm in a champion district now, and I'm going to see if there is the Jinsei bar over here. Somewhere. What? Told you, give me back that cash. All, of, all that's left of the value of that horse for the fancy Buddha Psalter. Wait, what? <sighs> Why are you, you snot-nosed punk? Ha! Huh? Huh, if I'm a snot-nosed punk, what does that make you borrow... You, that make you the bar borrowing money from me. A stuffy old geezer, that's what. We should intervene here. Hey, leave that man alone. Who the hell are you? You ain't got any of your business. Huh? How about I fist up that stupid looking face of yours? Oh. Okay, then. You'll pay for this. Psha, you're just minding your own business. I should have been looking for Jensei. Say, you wouldn't have happened to have a place on up on Sapona Street once upon a time? Mm -hmm. Yep, sure did. Why do you ask? Somebody's been looking for you. <sighs> Probably some debt collector who wants to shake me down. Tell him to leave me alone. I found the bar for what it's worth. Guess I should go tell the old man. Well, at least he's over here on the Lillian Tower. Alright, there we go. We got back to the Millennium Tower and the old man's up there. Took me a long walk. Hey, bud. Say, I found Jin I found Jinsei for you. It's still alive and well in the Champion District. Don't do. Is that a fact? Would you mind take me there if there's not too much trouble? <sighs> Finally, I could lay this old burden to rest. Sure, we should taken there. Better not to ask questions. Alright, you've convinced me. Think you can keep up? I'll do my damnness. So this is it, eh? This is the place? Uh. Tagami, it's me. It's Zaizen. Shintaro Zaizen. Zaizen? Huh? Zaizen! Is it really you after all these years? Uh. Forgive me, Tagami. I have to apologize for what I've done. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Back when we were working on the black market, I... I stole the money you earned. Worse, I betrayed my friend. Mm -hmm. I know this won't make up for anything I've done, but... I set aside ten mi million for you, and I want you to accept it. Yeah. Wait just a sec. I can't take that kind of money from you. Mm -hmm. Tagami, be reasonable now. Yeah. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> This is perfect. You owe us eight million at least once it's tack on the various fees. It'll, it'll be the ten million. Tagami, you're in debt. You stay out of this. Uh oh. We should stop. You're out of place, friend. Can't you see these men are trying to have a conversation? Huh? Yeah, I'm going to stick my nose everywhere. What the heck was that? That was a really weird camera angle. Is that a bloody knife that you had? I really don't appreciate- Oh, no, that's a crowbar. There you 
go. There you go. Punch to the crotch. That's what you get. Oh, what the hell, man? You're done for now. Just wait until these two finish talking these through. Oh. Tagami, take this money. Please, I can't keep going on like this. Yeah. My current debts have nothing to do with you. This, this is all for my wife. Ah. It's cancer. She was in the hospital for surgery. All our treatments cost us a near yeah. fortune. We've had to work hard for so long. All I've ever wanted is to spend our life, our last years together in peace. This is so much to ask. But Tagami. Yeah. In fact, your sticky fingers led me to my wife. I lost my money and had to sell the shop, as we well know. Eventually, I wound up living and working in the shoes you join out here in Kamarocho. That's where I met her. Ah. I did hate you once upon a time when I was younger, but why on hold on to grudges? I'm content with the way things turned out. Ah. That might be all well and good for you, but no, not for me. Now I insist you take this money. <laughs> hey, Collector, this is yours. All of it. Take it, and never show your face around here again. <laughs> yes, sir! Oh, and thanks a million. No, make that ten million. Huh? Sizen, why on earth did you yeah. stop? I didn't give you that money to you. I gave it to your wife. Out of pity for having you to put up with the royal pain of the keister like yeah. you. It's still way too much money. Oh, yeah. Now let's say my drinks are on the house from now on. <laughs> well, if that's what you want, then those drinks better be damn strong. Now go introduce yourself to my wife. Uh. That sounds like a fine idea. I can't thank you of enough for all you've done. I never would have been able to talk to my old friend without your help. All I did was bring you here, nothing more. Oh. <laughs> Live as long as I have, and you may tell. You could tell. You're a man of no ordinary caliber. Won't you tell me your name? Kiryu. Kazuma Kiryu. I thank you for the bottom of my he heart, Kiryu-san. I'll never forget you as long as l not as long as I live. Please accept this mere token of gratitude. Now, if you excuse me. Wow, that was nice. I helped them out. All right, what's going on over here in Bantam? Starts explanation. <sighs> well, I hope he's not hiding something from me. But even if he is. What can I possibly do? Bartender, I'll have a drink, if you please. Very well, sir. Here you are, sir. Please enjoy. Um, would you happen to be curious on by any chance? That's me. Who's asking? Sorry to come up and talk to you all of a sudden, but I'm Riko Ryoko Sato. I'm heard about you from my husband. Your husband? Yes. In the past, he used to work for a particular family. I'm sure you know the kind. Well, he was always going on and on about this amazing guy from Kamarocho. He showed me your picture in a magazine once, and that's how I recognized you. I see. So what did you want from me? My husband, he's... I think he's planning to murder someone. Please, you gotta help him somehow. Slow down a minute. What makes you think he wants to do that? Well... Back when he married me, he was able to wash his hands of the business and work a normal job. He started working part-time at a restaurant, and we've been able to make an ends meet for both of us bringing home a check. But late one night, I saw him alone, with a knife, sharpening it in the shadows. He must have thought no one was watching. Not only that, but he's been making these secretive phone calls to someone I don't know. I'm thinking maybe it's one of his old associates and that's who gave him the order? to think of it. He has been doing a lot of strange things lately. We've been eating out a lot more. He buys me clothes. He keeps on top. Take me on these trips. But we don't have that kind of money. None of it adds up. And then it dawned on me. My husband must be working for another job behind my back. That's the only explanation. He promised me our wed on our wedding day that he'd never make me cry again. But now he goes on and does this. Maybe he's been pulled into something against his will. There's no way for me to know that. But if that really is true, I'd do anything to get him out of it. Oh, how can he forget our wedding vows? I 
thought he was a changed man. I'm begging you, Kiri-san. Find out if my husband is up to something vile, and if he is, put a stop to it. You're the only one who can. Well, while I could, how could I refuse? I should help. Alright, I suppose I could be of some help. What exactly is it that you want me to do? Arigatou oh, thank you. So my husband should be hitting the Mahjong parlor at the at about this time. You should be able to spot him immediately since he's usually head to toe in the red, bright red sportswear. A man in red sportswear. Okay. Now what I want you to do is find out where my husband keeps on going when he's done gambling. And when you figure it out, would you please give me a call? So all you want me to... So all you want to know is where he's been shuffling off to. Okay, I think I could do that. Thank you. Truly, I don't know who else to turn to at this point. Alright. And I found a locker key. Who's this girl? Maybe someone shouldn't like me. Someone like me shouldn't. Hello? Oh! Hmm? Oh. Wow, what a coincidence seeing you here. Huh? You talking to me? Oh, of course. Don't you remember me? She knows me somehow. Where did I meet her? Wasn't she in Jewel or something? I don't know. We've never met before. I don't believe we've met. Huh? We've definitely met, and I can't believe you don't remember me. She looks very familiar. Oh, wait, what? I know I should be doing the other thing, but I was like... Do you remember who I am? Shine. Was it a shine? What? No. Oh, wait. Wasn't there someone in the love parlor? I went there once by accident or something, and I thinking it was something else. I remember you. You were Ayaka from Love and Heart. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I'm so glad you remember who I am. Though I don't believe I got your name. Right. I guess I didn't give it to you. It's Kiryu. Kiryu-san, what a cute name. <laughs> Here all by yourself today? Yeah. Would you mind if we sat with you for a bit? Go right ahead. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Say, this is the first time we get to properly chat. That's right. Before, you were busy being my masseuse. Actually, the name of my profession is a massage therapist. What's the difference from masseuse? Well, both professions to give massage to clients. My job is the, at the shop is to use both massage and aromatherapy to soothe my clients' stress and worries. I had to study pretty hard to get licensed for my job. Sounds pretty tough. From how you how you looked earlier, you could probably use some therapy yourself, huh? <laughs> huh? How'd you know? Oh, I guess I must have been talking to myself again. You heard that, huh? Yeah. Oh, no. God, I'm so embarrassed. When I get lost in thought, sometimes I just start mumbling things that I'm thinking about. Heh. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, don't laugh at me. I know I might seem like the serious type, but I was really thinking hard about this. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got this feeling for the the first time we met, but you're surprisingly easy to talk to, cutie san You think so? You're so mature, too. I've always wanted to sit down and chat with you. I don't have a lot of mature, cool-headed guys like you in my life. Can I get your advice on something that's bothering me? You want my advice? Or do you have to leave soon? She did look pretty bothered. I'll hear you out. Yeah, I might be able to help. I might not be able to help, but I'll try. Okay, I knew you were a nice guy, kitty son. You think so? What I knew. What's this? I knew business. Well, whatever. Well, uh, so here's the thing. I'm really into this guy. Problems with your love life, then? Go on. Yeah, I like him a lot, but I get this feeling it's just not going to work out. Is that so? Well then. What do you like about him? Everything. Uh -huh. Hey, don't just clam up and say something. Clam up, say something. Sorry. Don't just clam up, say something. What? Sorry. What was the thing that made you decide he was the one? The one thing that made me decide? Hmm. Probably when I think about how strong he was. 
He was so confident and sure of himself. I knew he'd protect me no matter what happened. Strong physically and mentally, and then... Well then, what's he like? He's one of my clients. To be honest, when I first met him, I thought he was pretty scary. But after talking to him, I realized he was so kind of mature and relaxed. Sounds like a nice guy. Ew. Yeah, he's such a sweet guy. Uh... Glad to hear it. Just be careful. A lot of those sweet guys can turn out to be playboys in disguise. Oh, he did seem like he was used to being around men, so maybe there's some truth to your words. It's a possibility. But no, I'm sure he's not that kind of guy. Why is that? Sometimes he gives me this honest, straightforward look. It makes me believe that he's not some kind of guy who will purposely hurt anyone. Man, she's really into him. Well then... What does he do for work? That, I don't know. You never asked? No, I just thought maybe I shouldn't. Why is that? You think he's involved in something shady? Mm. I mean, maybe. From what I saw on his back, he's got to be have a serious past. There's something on his back? A tattoo, maybe? I think he's got some demons he's struggling with, not to mention the burdens he's carrying. <laughs> But that's a part of Adam that makes me swoon. I see. Oh gosh, my heart's racing just talking about him. I'm starting to think, feel that drink too. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Kiri-san. Kiri-san. Hey, Kiri-san. Hmm? Yuya, what's good? What are you doing here? I came by for drinks today. I come by for. I come by here for drinks now and then, and man, who's that cutie with you? On a date? I'm jealous. It's not a date. I just happened to run into her here. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't be coy. I saw you two over there. You were really heading it off. Were you listening in, too? Yeah. I know I shouldn't... But when I saw you here with a cute girl, I couldn't help but get curious. Anyway, so I heard what she was saying about the guy she likes. Don't you think she... Don't you think she's talking about you, cutie son? No. I don't think so. She's just opening up to me about something she's worried about. Yeah. Come on, that can't be it. I see what's going on here. I'm like a host act. I'm a host after all. See, some girls act like that when they want to get advice, but really what they're trying to do is figure out how the other person feels about them. Is that so? Oh. Remember what she said earlier? First impression, scary guy. Honest, straightforward gaze. A bag that hints at a serious past. Really strong? That describes you down to the letter, kitty san Plus, there's a, there's the way that she looks at you. It's the exact same way a girl might look at her celebrity crush. But the way she's been talking to you, it doesn't seem like she's that inexperienced when it comes to romance. Mm. There's got to be a reason why she's c not coming out and telling you how she feels. What do you mean? Like, some sort of secret she doesn't want you to know. For example, maybe since she's a single member or helping her parents pay off a ton of debt, she might just be curious how you'll react to this secret of hers. It's how girls do things sometimes. Oh, shoot, she's probably coming back. I'll be off. I'll back off. Good luck. See ya. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. Kitty son. Do you still have time? There's more I want to talk to you about. Hmm. Sure, I have time. Sure, I'll stay. Thank you. Right now, I'm not so sure if I should tell him how I feel. Why is that? I'm afraid of what he might say. Well, you're an attractive woman, Ayaka. Any guy would be thrilled to hear you were interested in him. You really think so? Aw, thanks. But there's someone... Something I still haven't told you, Kiedisan. What's that? Um, I... I was born a man. Huh? Wait, so you're transgender? Yeah. Ever since I was a kid, I felt like I was a girl. But my whole life, I had... Boy parts. It was really hard for me to look like that. Doctors sometimes call it gender identity disorder. Personally... I don't like the word disorder being used to describe who I am. I see. Is it the same as being gay? It's different. Being gay means you're attracted to people of the same sex. 
being trans means your gender identity is different than the sex you were assigned at birth. Oh, I get it. You were born as a man on the outside, but on the inside you felt like you were a woman. That's right. I underwent gender reassignment century, so that now my physical appearance matches the gender I identify as. I'm a woman through and through. Even so, I'm terrified of telling him. I'm scared he'll completely lose interest in me. There's no way he'll... No way I'll come out and tell him. It's funny. I'm so in love, but it's scared of being in love. I'm sorry. I'm sure that this is really shocking to hear, but it must be really difficult to come to terms with. Uh... It's a bit shocking, but honestly, everything happens in here in Kamurocho. No, not at all. Huh? Love is about accepting one another for who you are. It's not always easy to find someone who will, however. Everyone has obstacles they've got to deal with. Yours are just bit of, a bit bigger than everyone else's, Ayaka. Kiri-san. I can't tell you how he'll react, but know this. If it doesn't go well, it's not your fault. It just means you weren't compatible, or it just wasn't the right timing for either of you. That's all. Just keep on keeping on, and one day, you'll meet someone who's right for you. I sincerely believe that. Thank you. I feel a lot better about this now. No problem. Kiri-san? What is it? I'm gonna tell Kentaro-san how I feel. Wait, who's Kentaro-san? Oh, sorry. That's the name of the guy. Sorry, I guess I forgot to mention it earlier. <laughs> Thank you so much for today. Oh, right. Can I get your cell phone number? Sure. And save. I'll text you what happens with Kentaro-san. And hey, if you ever feel exhausted, swing by the massage parlor anytime. How'd it go, Kyoto-san? I didn't get to hear any everything she said. Who's this Kentaro-san she mentioned? That's the guy she's crushing on. Uh. What? Weren't you just going on about how she was into me or something? Man, my rage was totally off. Looks like I've got a ways to go before I'm a real host. There was one other important detail. She's a trans woman who was born as a man. <laughs> oh, come on, kitty son. You don't know how to make... You don't have to make up something like that to cover your ass. It's okay if you got rejected. Besides, if I didn't pick up on something like that, I'd be a t really failure of a host. Well, you sure are a failure then. <sighs> you know, though, if someone like her came up to me and said she was interested, I'd definitely consider it. What a nice girl. Too bad for you, though, Kiri-san. Yeah, it really was too bad. Oh man, look at the time. I gotta get back to work. See ya. Hey, hold up. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out that woman's uh, problem with her guy. So I have to go to the Maj Mahjong parlor. Somebody's coming. I must be... Maybe it's the hub husband of that lady I spoke with at Batam. Can't believe I friggin' lost again. I just do not have any luck before I work. He's covered in red sportswear, alright? That's gotta be the guy. Time to see what he's up to. So is this a following mission? Oh, it is. I'm interested in this construction sign. No, he's okay. He's alright. Now I match the crowd. And now he's running. on these missions while he's just strolling around town. What could he be up to in there? I'm sure his wife would like to know. 
It's Kiryu. Uh-huh. Right near Smileburger. That's right. You'll recognize him when you ski it here. Well, now what? Yeah. Hey, asshole. I know you've been following me, so just tell me what you want. Hey, hold on. You got it all wrong. Hey. Yeah, and that's why they all say. Too bad there's no... Well, too bad for you, because there's no way in hell you're dragging me back to that life. I'll fight you tooth and nail if I have to. But I'm not even doing anything. I was just trying to help your wife out. Unless I got the wrong person. Oh, come on. Oh, no. He's stabbing me in the crotch. Don't stab me in the crotch. That's rude. Damn it. Should have never set foot in Kamarocha to begin with. I knew I'd get dragged back in. Relax. I'm not here to drag you into anything. Huh? Wait a minute. Don't tell me. You must be Kiryu san. Wow, I'm standing face to face with a legend. I used to be in the business too, you know. And I heard all about the crazy stories about you, man. You're like a god. But then you retired right after you made the fourth chairman of. made. you were made fourth chairman of the Tojo clan. But then you retired right after you made fourth chairman of the Tojo clan. That's what ex actually inspired me to leave the business myself. Well, that's all fine and good. But I need to know what you've been up to. Your wife's been worried about you. Huh? She has? Hmm. Well, I guess there is one thing I haven't managed to tell her yet. Think you could keep a secret? You see, I was asked to be a chef at a restaurant I work part-time. So I started going to cooking school. The boss says I could get a full-time if I get me a cook license. To me, that's like a good golden opportunity. I've been wanting us to have some kids soon. So I figured having a proper salary was the best way to prepare. So you've been sneaking off to cooking school? Is that it? Well, it ain't my intention to be sneaky. I'm sh I mean, sure, the school my boss recommended is a rundown building with no sign out in front, but the teacher there is world class. Then what's with the late knife for sharpening? Ah. Oh, you mean this thing? Ha! Huh. I've been using this to gut the tuna. Guess it doesn't kind of look. Guess it kind of looks like something you could shank another guy with. Get the blood flowing. Ha! <laughs> Now I see. This is all coming together. Huh? What's coming together? And why is Rio girl suspicious of me all of a sudden? I wonder about that lady sometimes. Well. Well, she said you have been a lot more well off in the money department than you could be. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that? I just happened to be in a nice wad of cash at Majan Tegel, so I stashed some away from special occasions. Man, the wife of mine's pretty sharp. There you are! What are you doing here? I wouldn't worry if you were, if I were you. Your husband's given me an explanation for everything, and it all checks out. Huh? What do you mean? You just gotta trust me, babe. I promised that I wouldn't make you cry. That was one of my wedding vows. Then you remembered. You remember your promise. Of course I remember, babe. You think I forget a thing like that? Sorry for putting you through all this drama, Kiri-san. I hope you'll take this for your troubles. Thank you for all your help. I feel like I could trust my husband so much more now. Well, I better get going. Nice. Alright. Well, I think that will do for now. I finished quite a lot of quests. And another one showed up on my map. Great! Great. It's gonna be a while until I get to the end, but hopefully... Uh, it won't be too much longer, I hope. If not, if I really need to, I'll just skip to the other, to go into Bajima. But my cats need me more. So, in the next video, I'll try to complete more side quests, and hopefully get to Majima. We'll see you guys then.